Are you sure you'll be okay while I'm gone? I'll be fine. <laughs> Say that again. I'll give you a call as soon as uh, the meeting's over, all right? Where are you going to be? I don't know yet. One of the hotels for breakfast. I'll have to call the secretary and find out which one. Okay. Anyway, see you later. Okay. Good morning, Kirk. Leaving so early? Bye, Bye sweetheart. Married a month and still the newlyweds. I'm touched. Touched? Where? In your heart? I don't think you have one, Mason. How can you say that to the last of one of the great romantics? Why, in my idle hours, I daydream about any number of passionate scenarios. Just last night, for example, I had a fantasy complete with sound effects. Would you like to hear about it? No. I was in my bedroom, right next door, and my imagination began to run wild. I could have sworn that I heard provocative noises coming from your bedroom. You know, it is sad that you don't have anything better to do with your time. Bed springs, Eden. Are you proud of the fact that you have not progressed beyond the age of 12? Oh, come on, Eden. You don't have to be embarrassed. You're a grown-up married lady. You can do anything you want to in bed. I guess I was just a little surprised that you were pursuing your pleasures with such gusto. <laughs> you are vile. <laughs> now, don't think I was eavesdropping. Don't think that. I, I just couldn't help but hear it. I'll demonstrate if you like. You go in, uh, into my room, and I'll go in there and bounce up and down on those rumpled sheets. See if... Was it something I said? Good morning, Eden Mason. Rosa? Would you like me to make up your room now? No, I need a few minutes. I'm going to shower and get dressed. You can make up mine if you like, Rosa. I already have, dear. I put clean sheets on your bed. Will you be wanting fresh linen studio? Oh, I think so, Rosa. Don't you, Eden? Today of all days...